Hi, I'm Jess. I make videos to interact with others and hopefully make you laugh. Ready, set, go. Hey friends, as I'm editing today's vlog, I realize that there's just so much footage that I may insert myself here and narrate some of it if I feel like it needs some explaining. But I'm gonna get started with just the first morning we've spent in New York. Good morning, New York. Good morning, friends. It's our first day in New York, our first morning, I should say, and we are about to go explore Central Park. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that we're gonna stick out like a sore thumb because we have backpacks. Maybe they'll think we're college students. No, probably not, but we have a lot of stuff to carry, so I, I have to bring it. We're gonna be riding a bicycle, and you know, I haven't ridden a bicycle well, until that night in PB, you saw that. But I haven't ridden one since then. And I was in high heels. So we're gonna see how that works out. Hopefully I don't break an arm because I don't know where the nearest hospital is and that would be really bad for me. I might have to move here. They have food trucks everywhere. You know how I feel about food trucks. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so dark from here. Okay, I should explain. That was my very first subway ride. The only subways I've been to are to get my foot long, you know what I mean? I was nervous because it goes underground. Like, that doesn't seem right. We don't have anything like that where I'm from. But it was really fun. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, how sweet. <laughs> Horse-drawn carriage is a little bit, it's a little much for me, but I can see how it'd be really romantic. I would just feel bad for the horse the whole time having to lug us around. Hey friends, so it's kind of warm out here. It's a little bit warmer than I thought, but we rented some bikes. We're at Central Park and we're gonna ride around. This is my bike, I've named her Becky. She's got a little basket. I guess you could have taken the easy route, huh? I'll tell you the crazy thing. It's like this, in, this huge industrial area. There's nothing but buildings everywhere. And then there's a park right in the middle. I mean, it's different, it's cool. Let me show you maybe a 360. I'll stand up on this bench. Is it this nuts? I mean, I've never, what is that? Like, I've never seen a building that tall in my life. And then here's the park area. And then here's my husband. Blurred. <laughs> this lady right here, her name is Athena. She was amazing. We had one question. The question was, so where can we ride the bikes, right? Because we don't want to ride anywhere where you're not supposed to. So she took out this map and for like eight minutes, she circled every area of Central Park that we would want to see, told us why it was so important. It was like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. I thanked her. I said, Athena, thank you. If only I had something to give her back. I don't know what, but I would. Hey, I think I saw someone get killed in this tunnel on Law & Order. How exciting, I want to go lay in it. My dear friend Rachel, I went to happy hour with her a couple days ago and she told me you have to go to the carousel. So here I am at the carousel. Vlogging, vlogging and riding a bike in Central Park. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't be a good sight when the runners can outrun you on a bike. 
All right, I'm coasting, not pedaling now. So hopefully this vlogging business will work a little bit better. <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, almost ate it right there. Okay, ooh. Oh my gosh, they're like Ali and Noah from The Notebook. I love it. There's a place I really want to eat. I've seen it in several movies. It's called The Boathouse. I remember it most from the movie My Best Friend's Wedding. Watch it be like the totally wrong restaurant. I think it was this one. But it's, uh, there's a pond and it sits at the end of the pond. It's beautiful. So we might come here for dinner. So here's the lake that you can't really see because of the tree. And then here is the boathouse. Doesn't it look familiar like you've seen it in a movie before? I feel like I really have. And I want to sit out here on this little patio and have ourselves some dinner. I think that's what we're going to do. But it can't go like this. So we have to go back to the hotel, get ready, and then come back. So we got off the bike path just to come and walk around a little bit and there's like this reservoir I guess it is but it's so nice it looks like this big old lake surrounded by buildings let me show it to you so here is the reservoir and they have buildings lined all the way that way I think there's some over here and then you can mostly see the ones over here too So we deviated again from the bike path to stop and come check out some of the inside of the park. And I was kind of bummed, you know, a lot of the New Yorkers we've met have said that they've never seen it this hot in October. It's actually pretty warm. Therefore, none of the leaves are changing. So I was kind of bummed because everything is so green. But then I saw this thing. Look at how vivid it is. It's like yellow. It looks like it's on fire. I don't know if I'm showing it well. Can you see it? And while I'm here, I think I'll just take some leaves. I'm going to take some authentic New York leaves. Like this one. Love it. And this one. And this one. There's something I can't have in San Diego. New York leaves. my first injury <laughs> look at this look at that what happened I don't have a band-aid I don't know where the hospitals are guess I just have to rub some dirt on it <laughs> we're at strawberry fields Oh my god, yeah, yes. Okay, I have to explain what just happened there. So we are walking through this place called Strawberry Fields, which is like a memorial. Would you say it's a memorial to John Lennon? Yes. It's a memorial to John Lennon because he was shot right across the street, which is so sad. It's become like this way to commemorate him. Anyway, so as I'm walking through, there was this man that was playing the guitar, and he was really good, and so I dropped some money into his guitar case, and he said, why don't you take a picture with me? And if you heard me, I went, oh, can I? Because I was so pumped. So I sat down to take a picture with him. And then my husband says, you should sing with her. She sings. And he was like, okay, let's do it. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Anyway, continue. To the sound of me. Mama Mary cast to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Barry. Barry, I'm Jessica. 
yes, so, nice to meet you. Are... so that gentleman's name was Barry, and we exchanged cards at the end of that, and I told him, hey, I make some videos online, kind of like a journal, so why don't you check it out tomorrow and you'll see yourself in it. So to that, I just want to say, Barry, you were amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, sir, because I'm sure that beautiful voice of yours brings joy to anybody who hears it. Have I mentioned that I'm obsessed with Judy Garland? Well, the Carnegie Hall is like super famous because they had so many very, you know, famous people that sang and performed there. So we can't have a tour until, what, what day was it? It was like Thursday. Because, October 2nd. Because they're closed for tours right now. So we came to eat at the Carnegie Deli. It's very popular. It was even in the Adam Sandler Happy Hanukkah song. Happy Hanukkah? Here comes Hanukkah. It was just the Hanukkah song. The Hanukkah song. I decided on the pastrami sandwich, but they had to split it in half because it was so enormous. Have you ever wondered what it looks like in Times Square? Me too. And here I am. It's basically like this median in the middle of the road that's surrounded by all these bright colors. They've got tons of advertisements that change like every 10 seconds. This is the one I wanted to see, but I wanted to watch the one with Neil Patrick Harris and it's... And he's not doing it anymore. Wah wah. TV is brainwashing. Amen, brother. Here's more flashy lights and advertisements. Sephora, I've been there. I think it's actually just building. That's interesting. I saw a girl with no shirt on that had the American flag painted across her boobs, but that's not gonna be in the vlog. Sorry. I am at the New York City Public Library. New York Public Library? Listen, I'm sure it has a lot of historical value, but what I remember the most is that Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City was gonna get married here to Mr. Big in the first movie. Do you remember that? Anyway, it's, I don't know if this is marble that it's made out of. Pretty fancy pants. It goes down like several layers. And then it goes up and up and up. Oh. This really makes our new library look like a piece of crap. I thought it was really special until I came to a library made of marble. I am so in love. I want to read every single book in this library right now. Look at the little lions. Well, they're not little, I guess. The only thing I know about this place is that it's big, it has something to do with transportation, and they have amazing flash mob videos on YouTube. That's about it. I'm standing right in the middle, and I'm going to show you just a 360 and how huge this is. And then, it's like super high, and it has a mural at the top. the mural from here but it looks like it is the zodiac signs maybe like that one's Gemini and I think this one's Aries like me the goat so after exploring New York for a while we went back to the hotel changed and then went out to dinner at the boathouse that place that I had mentioned earlier it was really nice it was really dark in there and you couldn't see any of the lake or anything like that I wanted to show you so here's the picture I found on the internet 
right, friends, this was a really long vlog. I cut out as much as I could. But I hope you had a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, friends, we walked all day. So tonight I'm sitting in the hotel, making sure to edit this video so it gets posted. Tomorrow we're renting a car and going to Cooperstown for the Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. So I'll be filming that, and I'm excited to share it. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.